agreements signed today have brought into being a world trade organization, a new energy source for the world economy, one which will charge the economic and political links among nations with a new vitality and a new hope. More than just a trade agreement, this is an agreement for global cooperation based on the recognition that our common human interests transcend our diversity. semiconductors or telecommunications equipment, computers, computer equipment, software. The same opportunities to the instrument of information and knowledge. We are capable of making use of trade rules and agreements to take care also of humanitarian elements. We take it that the decision can be adopted. It is. For the first time in our history, the WTO has truly delivered. Trade liberalization economic integration and attraction of foreign direct investment. We must make sure that resources for development can truly help the most vulnerable. We want to hear and we want to learn from all of you. We stand at the threshold of a golden age of global economic growth, made possible by the high degree of multilateral cooperation. We are strengthening our engagement with the World Trade Organization because of its importance to our economy. But what I will not accept is that somehow this is not a democratic organization. We will continue to press for open markets. Europe will continue the path of agricultural reform we have embarked upon. I also propose that ministers take note of the understanding regarding the duty-free, quota-free decision so agreed. LDC-specific issues were underlined as needing particular attention. The WTO is part of the solution of the crisis. If you are collectively determined to keep protectionist pressures at bay, the Ministry of Conference so agrees. <laughs> Bali has given a new morning to the World Trade Organization. <laughs> <laughs>